Welcome to the Montana Department of Labor and Industry Safety and Health Bureau's tutorial on OSHA's injury tracking application. Before we get started, here are some electronic record keeping requirements you should know. You may be wondering if the new OSHA rule applies to you. If your business falls under one of these guidelines, you must file electronically. If you have 250 or more employees, you must submit your OSHA 300 Injury Log, 300A Summary of Work-Related Injuries and Illnesses form, and the 301 Incident Report electronically. If you have 21 or more employees in certain high-hazard occupations, you must submit your OSHA 300A Summary electronically. What is a high-hazard industry, you might ask? Here are some examples of industries that are considered high-hazard. Agriculture, utilities, construction, manufacturing, retail, hospital and residential care facilities, just to name a few. You can see a complete list of industries by visiting the website listed on your screen. Now we're going to walk you through how to submit your forms electronically. There are two ways to get to OSHA's injury tracking application. You can go to OSHA.gov backslash injury reporting, which will take you to the web page you currently see on your screen. From there, you can click on the Launch ITA button and start the reporting process. You can also type in ITA in the search bar on OSHA's homepage, which will give you a list of options related to the injury tracking application. The first option will take you directly to the reporting application. Now that you're on the ITA page, the next thing you need to do is click on the link that says Create an Account. Here, you will create a username and password. When you set up your account, you will enter basic information about you and the company you work for. Once you've gone through the steps, you will receive an email asking you to click on the confirmation link before you can go any further. Once you click on the link provided in your email, you will be taken to this screen where you will set your password. After you set your password, you will be asked to log in. Once logged in, you will be taken to the ITA homepage. As you can see, this page has information on how to get started with your data entry along with the choice of entering your data manually or through batch data transmission. Whether you choose to enter your data manually or through batch transmission, you will be asked to create an establishment in the system. If you're unsure what an establishment is, it is generally a single physical location where business is conducted or where services or industrial operations are performed. Once you've entered in your address, you will be asked for your NAICS industry code. If you don't know your code, you can click on the census.gov link and it will take you to the list of NAICS industry codes. Now that your establishment has been created, you can start submitting your 300A summary by clicking on the blue button on the right. You will be asked a series of questions starting with basic employment information and ending with the number of reportable injuries or illnesses at your establishment for the year. Before you submit your 300A data, you can check the information you submitted to make sure it's correct. Once you've looked it over, just click on the Submit 300A Data button on the right side of your screen. Once submitted, you will receive an email letting you know that OSHA has received your 300A form. If you are entering more than one establishment, go to the Navigation menu and click on the View the Establishment List option. This is where you can add establishments if you need to enter data for more than one location. You can also see the status of your 300A forms for each establishment listed. If you choose to submit your information through batch data transmission, you will be taken to this screen. There are downloadable file instructions that will guide you through creating a CSV file, along with a template you can download to make the process easier. Once you've created your file, you can upload it. You should receive a confirmation email once your file has been received. If you still have questions on how to submit your forms electronically, there are more resources on OSHA's Injury Reporting page.